Do you like salt, like Mama? Mm. I think that's too much. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, now it's on your finger. Why'd you do this? Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Just enjoying a <coughs> vegan mayo and tomato sandwich. Super yummy. What do you think? Yummy? <laughs> yeah, with rosemary bread? Very good. Okay, please don't mind the obnoxious Coco Melon Halloween in the back, but here is real life for you. Okay, here is everything that I'm taking out of the pantry. Um, when it comes to our prepper pantry, we have two basically. We have one downstairs that keeps some more long-term things, and then we have our regular pantries that we cycle through. And the truth is, this kitchen, it does have a lot of room to me. It's the largest kitchen I've ever had. Um, but I did get a comment saying that the kitchen was so small. So I mean, to each their own. I, I am very excited about this kitchen. Um, and I'm very, very grateful that we had the means to buy a home with a kitchen. So I am trying to utilize the space as much as I can. I know for my husband's peace of mind and myself, it's just easier if we can grab and go with things. So I'm really trying to utilize the space in the correct way. I've been told not to keep the cans next to the microwave. I've looked into that. Um, YouTube is great for things like that. Sometimes you get comments and you're like, no, that doesn't make any sense. Um, and then sometimes you get comments that really uh, makes you wonder and then you look into it and you're like, yeah, I could have done something uh, better there. So I'm just going to put dried goods in this area as well as our medicines. I'm going to move the medicines up a shelf though. Um, I take my vitamins every night though, so they might go on the bottom shelf. Um, obviously need to do dishes, need to do something with the plants here. And then over in this area, this literally is just plastic bags water and my bread maker is down there and then we have reusable bags but it just looks like ridiculousness so I would like to get that clean and then over here are like cereals and pastas and things like that they can be moved over to the uh the pantry next to the microwave so really want to get in there and do that I'd like to clean these off at some point um and I've always liked, to, I, I wanted to like redo this in some way. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know if it's worth it. We are doing all the doors and everything. We're not necessarily flipping the house. We're just trying to um, improve some color situations and things like that. So, oh, wish me luck. It's a lot, but it needs to be done. It will help me stay on track. I literally have 61 days left of school and um, I just want to get organized for the summer. I will be here all day with the kids and then the plan is to move on into August and be my stay at home self. So I really need to get decluttered and organized. I really hope these videos inspire you. Let's get into this. No more talking because we need to get into this. So I'm going to set up some Stevie on the record player here and just get going.
We are taking an outside break so we can play in this puddle right here. I somehow have lost one of Delilah's only shoes that fit her. So she has Wilder's old Vans on. They're like the cutest things ever. I'll have to take a look at the thrift store for something. They always have like good sneakers or I don't know. The boots are great, but the problem is with the girls' boots, they have a heel to them. I just don't think it's good for the development of their foot, although I am not a qualified professional. Maybe I'm wrong. Anywho, we are taking a break outside, and then we're going to head back in, and I will show you the reveal. I just had to do, like, a bunch of dishes, and the kids were getting restless, so our third trip outside today. I mean, we could, we would be outside all day if we could, but there is cleaning and such to be done. So I'm going to take you back inside here in a second. We are just breathing right now. All right, the kids are making their Valentines now. We don't really do anything fancy. We just have them have some paper here. I did some hearts on it, and they're coloring it in. Wilder is really great at making circles. Can you try yeah. a circle? Good job. And Delilah's over here trying not to eat the crayons. So we have had dinner, we've had our baths, and done our little Sunday routine. And um, I'm going to get myself dinner while they're busy here. <laughs> Here are the afters, so we just have the bags still in here. I can't make them look any neater than that. We have like soda and things back there. It'll probably expire before we drink it, honestly. We have um, one roll of paper towels, we need more. And then over here, we have some foil, tin foil, parchment paper, some empty bottles that we can use for cleaners. And then over here, we have snacks. And then on this side, it's just like plastic bags trash bags, things like that. My husband's cereal. Um, I say that because I really don't like cereal. I despise it actually. So we have that in there. We have C-O-O-K-I-E-S's um, hidden back there. We have coffee and tea. And then the next little row here are all of our canned items as well as our condiments. So over here we have veggies, beans. I have olives and sauerkraut in the back. I have our vinegars, I have all of the extra sauces. Over here we have like tomato sauces and things like that. Yeah, buddy. We also have some Alfredo sauce. Mm-hmm. Okay, one second. And then up top here we have our canned proteins as well as our soups. And then we have some baking items and then we have our ice cream maker up there, some recipes, important papers. So that's good to go. I was really excited about that. And now over here in the Lazy Susan, we have some bars. Those are more for my husband. Then for the kids, we have peanut butter, bars, yogurts, things like that, applesauce, the crock pot. This is how I store my potatoes. Then on the bottom, we have onions and garlic. And then we have coffees over here, as well as um, some energy drinks for my husband. Oh. I need to put these potatoes in here. I couldn't find them. Um, that's where they are. Um, my husband's protein stuff. Um, and then the air fryer. And that's just about it. And then up on top here, I will show you. So I really would like this to be a bit more organized. But at least I know where things are. Um, mac and cheeses and long pastas like fettuccine and spaghetti. We have gnocchi and then quinoa in this row. We also have some soup mixes in the back. And then this is all rice. So we're good on rice for a while. These are my vegan supplements that I take. And then on top here, we have some ramens and things like that, like the Lipton soup blends. We have other pastas here and then rainbow quinoa. We have medications and things on the top there and then some extra drinks and such. So pretty excited about that. Took a little bit, took all day actually. So I am gonna have a seat here and I will see you soon. Hey everyone, I am uh, continuing the vlog from yesterday. It got super lost on me. We got busy and then a two hour delay, parent teacher conferences, all of, all of the things, but um, I still wanted to continue on. It was pretty short, so we are going to vlog today. So I'm about to go into school. We had a two hour delay today, so we're going in pretty late. I am on the hunt today, tonight, actually. I'm gonna go to the thrift store. I have a few orders that I need to fill, so yay. Thank you to all of you who have supported the new apparel line. 
And then I also want to stop at Target because I need a new mic. I've had like several people say, your audio is in and out. And let's be honest, it's always been. It's just not my strong suit when it comes to filming, but I'm trying my best. Um, but Wilder took a bite out of the mic that um, my husband got me. So there's nothing I can do. I mean, there's <laughs> nothing I can do but buy a new one and again let's be real I don't have the money to buy a new one so I am on the hunt for another one I will try my best to keep the audio as um, consistent as possible I know that gets annoying turning things on and off so sorry about that but today is a big day because it's a two-hour delay so it's like back-to-back -back classes and um, the last time it snowed like this I don't know if some of you were here but we like to do snow dyeing with the kids when it snows like this and they get super excited it's like one of their favorite art projects to do so we have like we started this in September but we have fabric that we've already folded just waiting for a snow day to fall on our scheduled day to do this I have fifth grade that does this and I have three rounds of fifth grade and we have a rotational schedule so um, the rotational schedule that we follow is an ABC model so one class has art on an A day one class has art on a B day and then those other days they'll have PE and music just so it's equitable amongst um, the specials so yeah it gets a little complicated but um I <laughs> Uh, finally, the kids that didn't get to do snow dye yet, it has fallen on their day. So I'm trying to get here a little bit early so I can get that set up. I have a cooler already. I'm just going to go out and get some snow. And then they sprinkle their snow on top of what they've dyed. And then they sprinkle powdered dye on top of that. Um, our district has decided to get rid of the masks so we're really excited about that um i mean i burst in tears of joy i haven't seen some of these kids faces in two years some of them i don't even know what they look like like kindergarten and kids that are new so i'm i'm very excited i know everyone has mixed feelings about it and this is not the time to be in the comments debating it but i um i'm just i'm overjoyed because i just i'm so excited to see them but moral of the story when we use powdered dyes it's nice to have masks on so we normally would wear masks um so i'm happy that it's falling on this day because masks are about to leave so we'll have our masks we'll do the powdered dye snow dyeing fun stuff and then um first grade is going to do some snow dyeing with um we have diffusing tissue paper but I haven't been in the classroom in a while. Well, I haven't taken you in the classroom in a while, so I'm gonna do that. And um, if some of you are new here, I don't just do budget, um, you know, budget videos. I really um, am a lifestyle channel. I've said that before. So I am an elementary art teacher, and some of the people that have been subscribed for a long time love seeing this kind of thing. So if it's not your thing, it's not the time to say I don't like it in the comments either. So just don't worry, don't worry about doing that because you don't. It's not necessary for you to do that. Um, I. I like these vlogs. Um, we've slowly built this community up to where it is and um, a lot of us have been talking now for like two years so it's really exciting that we have those connections to make but I have to say this because there's always someone new that's like mm, I don't like your vlogs like okay well then don't watch them I don't know and don't give them a thumbs down that's so lame um <laughs> Okay, done ranting for the day. If I didn't rant in a vlog, it wouldn't be a Tory vlog. So, anywho, I am going to head into the school. I'll show you the projects we're working on. There's a lot of cute ones, but it's a busy day. Um, my husband has off, and then I have off on Monday. I'm hoping I can convince him to go up to Breckenridge. Um, it's a mountain town in Colorado. If you're not familiar, it's like our go-to, and we actually have friends up there. We have two groups of friends up there and I want to give them a heads up to say that we're coming up but um, I have to convince him to go it's the car ride with the kids that is his hesitation and it's mine too but sometimes we just need that mountain air and um, the way that we get to Breckenridge is not through the canyons anymore there's one canyon that we go through so I don't think Wilder will be getting car sick or anything like that um, so yeah I'm, I'm really hoping that whole 
want to go with us uh, or well uh, he'll want to go because I can't go without him um, and there's a vegan pizza shop up there that I want to try out just a bunch of fun stuff for families and uh, we really love Breck. I wish we could live there, but we're not uh, billionaires. So there are some areas outside of it that we've looked into. I actually, um, before I started teaching at the school that I'm at right now, I had an interview for Breckenridge Elementary and I didn't get it. I was the second one in line and the principal reached out and he said, you were my choice. And I'm like, oh, that would have been so nice. But, um, sorry, a friend is pulling in here and She's gonna make fun of me if she sees me like this. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I'm going to get that going and then I, um, no, that's not even what I was saying. I was saying that I had the interview at Breck Elementary, but he was also the principal for Silverthorne Elementary and he told me to interview for that position and I got it, but we couldn't make it up to Breck in time. We couldn't find housing or anything. So I had to turn it down and it was probably like, the career choice that um i regret the most but that's all right we get up there when we can and maybe we'll do a little house hunting while we're up there um like i said it's up in the air as to where we're actually going to go um pennsylvania will be would be ideal but we would love to see some more of the mountain towns in colorado before we do that but i am at school i'm gonna have my coffee in the car here and then i will go in and show you what we're working on and then i um wanted to show you you know some of the thrift things that i get just because we do weekly drops um i do designs on there and then in the next two weeks i'm actually dropping a kids line so stay tuned for that i'm really excited um a lot of the items are thrifted and I know there's a hesitation there when you purchase things for your kids that are thrifted but I really try and find um, gently worn things if I need to go to a consignment shop sometimes I do that so there are a lot of Kate Quinn goodies in there which I'm pretty stoked on if you don't know I love Kate Quinn um, I am yeah not sponsored by them or anything although that would be cool um, but I started loving Kate Quinn you know probably when the pandemic hit and I formed like a group of friends some of them follow me on here so hi Kate Quinn moms um but I yeah I really love their stuff it's organic um it's good quality and it lasts for a while so a lot of it is plain so I am going to take the opportunity to print on it put my own designs on it so I'm going to show you that and I'll show you some dinner and go from there so welcome to a long vlog I know they've been requested I know they've been not requested like specifically shorter videos but I'm trying to please everyone here so I hope that's understandable and yeah let's get right into our day I hope you all are having a good day wherever you are and let's get into it so the fifth grade kids are working on shibori, um, all done with writ dye. And then we're gonna make some natural dyes with like blackberries and turmeric, blueberries, onion skins, avocado skins, but they came out really, really awesome. So all I have to do is iron these. There's like, you know, 80 of them to iron. So I'm just taking my time, but I made a little clothesline here. I used to have it like this, but the fire marshal guy said that I can't because it blocked a doorway. So I was like, oh man, I didn't even think about that. Just another thing to give me anxiety. Um, but yeah, we do different folds, flag folds, um, harishi flo uh, fold, just a whole bunch of different ones. But the kids did really awesome, like super awesome. My goal today is to just go through the watercolors because literally I did watercolors last week and look at them, chaos. Chaos. Um, and then the first graders are working on George Redrick's uh, Blue Dog. If you've never heard of that, it's super cute. Um, but they did in first grade, they need to learn certain standards. So they need to learn repetition and they need to learn pattern. So the kids are just working on this. They're super bright. We made all of the watercolors out of the dried up markers. So they love that aspect of things super cute super cute so that's first grade fifth grade and then what else are we doing oh fourth grade is doing the cacti and this is mine but they're doing like a super awesome job i think they're on the drying rack back here and then it's like back here oh going under things um let me get you flipped okay yeah 
some of them are a little smaller. Usually I say if they can put their hands together and stack them, that's the size that we want when it comes to this um, 12 by 18, but really, really beautiful colors. They chose warmer, cool colors for the background. Um, and that's a fourth grade standard that they need to learn, but really, really excellent ones. So, so beautiful. Where's this? Let me see this one. Every time I look at them, they're just, they just get more beautiful. Oh, this one's cool. A creeping succulent that came down, just very nice. They needed to learn pattern and warm and cool colors. And then the last thing that we threw in here was overlapping. They needed to learn overlapping. So there's like 70 of them. I'm not going to, there's 80 actually, there's 80. So I'm not going to go through that. But then over here, we have kindergarten. They're working on their space portraits. So cute. Um, I'll insert a picture here of the background, but they learned how to splatter paint, which was not my most favorite teacher move I've ever done, splatter painting with kindergarten, but we got it done. Um, and then they'll put this on their black background that I just showed you. So really, really cute stuff happening. Let me take you over to second grade. They're doing some fun things as well. They are doing silhouettes and learning about shadows and how lights hit you differently, if that makes sense. So we did our background in warmer, cool colors, and then they're putting their silhouettes on top of it. Super fun. They're having a really good time with it. Um, trying, We're using flashlights to see where the light hits us. Normally we would go outside, but it's snowing. So um, you never know what's gonna happen in Colorado. Um, so I make a plan every single year in the beginning of the year to go through which um, projects we're going to do. And last year at this time, we were um, going outside. So it's funny to compare and contrast the weather. Um, but yeah, they're having a good time with the flashlights and learning not to shine flashlights into people's eyes because they do that a lot. So second grade and then I will bring you over to third grade we're studying Yayoi Kusama. So for those of you that are new we study artists and cultures on the artistry here so we bring them down each grade is doing a different one but this is Yayoi Kusama and then they're gonna move on to Lenora Carrington um, but has some really awesome stuff. Uh, fourth grade is going to move into Caravaggio, so realistic self-portraits, but I'll show you the yayoi portraits and things like that. We'll walk you over here. Hmm, where are they? Okay, yep. Yeah. So we are doing patterns and objects and symbolism that we can repeat. So um, he did like a nice little square box here. And then from there, we're going to take the back of an eraser and do our dots. Um, if you don't know about Yayoi, I could go on and on. She's amazing. Um, she does these really incredible rooms that you go into and there's mirrors and they create these really beautiful optical illusions. Um, she has some mental issues. So unfortunately she doesn't go to the shows anymore, but when she went, it was just, you know, amazing. I think the last show she went to was in like the nineties. So if you've had an opportunity to see a Yayoi show, let me know in the comments below so we can connect on that. But um, kids are doing great with this. It's so, so fun to see them kind of, I don't know, repeat their object and to see their color choices. And I love being a specialist because I see them from kindergarten, from when they're five all the way until they're 11, um, now sixth grade this year. So all the way until they're the big bad 13 year old. But um, it's so fun to see their art evolve. And then uh, the other second grade class is actually finishing their medallions here. They didn't get a chance to do them because of quarantines and all that garbage. So over here, we have a really awesome intricate one. I can't wait to see how that comes out. And I'll show you the beads that I got for this. They actually didn't have the other ones left that were donated, but we got some like crystal beads in here. They love things like this. And then all of my girls just love, you know, hot pink and smiley faces. This reminds me of the nineties for sure with those, but um, when I grew up, <laughs> but yeah. We're gonna do that and then sixth grade is working on printmaking so i'm introducing stamps to them and then they're moving on from there all right i'm gonna get some of this cleaned up it's not too bad in here i just want to work on those watercolors and then i'm gonna eat some breakfast and i will probably see you at lunchtime or maybe after school it's gonna be a jam-packed day um two hour delays really compact us
Okay, you don't mind the mess. I just wanted to show you the snow die. So we have all of the fabrics in there. We put snow on top of it. Okay, and then I did um, some powdered dye on top of that, and then it will just sit here and melt overnight, and then you rinse it out. It's super easy. Hey guys, we um, made it home. I dropped off the kids, and now I'm going to the thrift store to grab a few things. Um, if you're new here, we have a long commute. It's like an hour and 10 minutes. So I just dropped them off, made sure they had some dinner with my husband, and now I'm headed out. But I did wanna like touch on this really quick. I filmed this like two weeks ago, but I ended up deleting it. Um, but I feel confident enough in my words to say this. Uh, someone has, well not someone, um, you know, a few people have questioned the price of my apparel and I kind of want to do a cost breakdown for you because, um, I don't, I don't want you to think that I'm, you know, trying to hustle you. I, um, I'm not making like this crazy return. So I get everything thrifted. I tend to go for the $5.99 apparel at the Goodwill because I just find that in that range are some of the more not higher end um you know thrifted items but like um i a lot of bcbg like guests and things like that whereas walmart brand um when it's thrifted i find specifically the no boundaries line to be um just it, it's not the best i would not say it's the best quality to resell just because um it doesn't hold up in the dye bath um and then i got a question about you know like um designs that they see on etsy and crew neck sweatshirts on etsy that are charging whatever 15 20 dollars and um questions like that you really have to look into the shop a lot of shops that are charging that are using a Cricut machine and I'm going to talk a little crap here. Cricut machines are wonderful but um, for apparel it's it's vinyl so eventually it will wear down whereas I'm using ink. It's permanent ink. It's not a sublimination print but it's an actual print um, through a silk screen. I, um, I'm not bragging or anything but I, I went to school for this. I, I went to college for printmaking and um, you know, I, I know what what goods are going to be the best for the clothing and the best for the environment. So that's why, you know, I spend a little bit more on ink and screen printing supplies and things like that. It's my understanding with a Cricut, you have the ability to access a library of designs that you don't necessarily design. So it's also very important to me that I design my own things. So um, while the inquiry, like I understand like your hesitation because I am a budget channel, but you have to factor in every single thing that goes into this. I mean, I don't even charge for my time at this point, which is fine with me because I'm having fun with this, but like screen printing ink, the shipping, shipping is $11 per order. You know, um, if it's in Colorado, it's nine, but I mean, I, you have to factor that in. And then a listing fee, a website fee, the cost of curing the ink, the cost of the ink itself, like I said, the screens, the emulsion, the, um, the packaging, there's just so many factors that go into it. So I did want to address that because I do understand that they can be a little bit pricey, but um, if I were to lower the prices, I would literally be paying you and you get a free sweatshirt. <laughs> like, so I'm, I'm not going to lower the prices. Uh, I'm not going to look for thrifted items that cost less. I just, this is where I'm at with this and I feel that this is a fair price. So I'm going to leave it at that. And then another thing that I was, you know, considering in the beginning, at the beginning stages of this was to create this brand that was only, um, that was like a boutique. So you buy things in bulk and then sell them. You buy them in wholesale and then sell them. The problem I have with that is, I mean, I, I love a lot of YouTubers that I follow and that they've recently been starting boutiques and I still love their channels and to each their own. But I, for wholesale things, I don't know where they're coming from. I can't see the quality because I don't go to market to go buy the thrifted item, or I'm sorry, the uh, boutique items. It's a lot of money up front. Um, 
and just I mean it all it all looks the same which is fine that's I mean that's fast fashion for you but I wanted something that was a reflection of myself and my artist designs and um, things like that so that that's why I'm not going the boutique route um, I did order some samples for the boutique and I might list them just as a small price and I will because I'm not going to be using them it's not the quality that I wanted the design is not what I wanted um, and that's I that's what you get that's what you get when you buy from wholesale from generally a different country at a lower cost you don't know who's making it there's just so many factors that go into it so I'm not gonna go that route but I am going to list them and I'll list them at like a discounted price and then I'll explain that I didn't create those or anything like that so that is um, my little my quick little synopsis of why the prices are the way that they are why I have chosen to go this route instead of being a boutique and um, I'm excited I I think the drops go really well I've gotten out of my comfort zone on Instagram and I've been creating reels where I kind of like show my my apparel basically and the outfits and how you would style them and things like that so I'm definitely getting a little bit more um, comfortable in that uh, realm of social media but I, I still have a lot to learn um, I will put my Instagram handle right here this is my personal Instagram um, I know a lot of you follow me on Mountain Mama but I, I generally just stick with the food there so I did want to hop on here before we lost light so I am on the hunt for a microphone I am on the hunt for some apparel for some orders and a little bit more kid friendly items and then I'm also on the hunt for um, red wine because I need some so <laughs> that's about it I will bring you along show you what we got I probably am just gonna stop at Panera and get a sandwich my order at Panera is a Mediterranean vegetable swap out the tomato basil bread for ciabatta because the tomato basil is not vegan and then take the feta off and sometimes I add avocado I always get an apple with it and um, they used to have black bean soup but they don't so I'll probably just get some garden veggie soup I used to work at uh, we called it Pantera bread for like six years of my life um, back in high school and college so I, I know the menu I like the company and when I need something quick and easy that is what I get so I will show you that and go from there all right thank you for listening to that um, long-winded kind of transition but I did want to explain some of the costs for some of you all right let's go see what we can find at the thrift store Score. We hit the mother load. I got stuff for orders. I got some kids stuff, but I'm really focusing on like higher end crew necks and things that I would wear. So um, loose fitting and um, comfortable is where I'm at. And I know a lot of you that follow me, I know that's where you're at too. So, oh, my light's dimming. I'm going to go get that um, mic and some wine and then I'll see you at home. Hey there, I just got home and I'm making dinner now. The kids are asleep, so I am voicing this over, but this is my favorite salad as of lately, um, favorite winter salad. So we have a base of cabbage, carrots, red cabbage and white cabbage, carrots, and then we have English cucumber, we have tomato, we have hemp seeds, we have a little bit of green onion, salt and pepper, and then what I'm putting on there is olive oil, a little bit of Dijon mustard, a little bit of red wine vinegar, although you could use balsamic for this, both are really, really tasty, and then what I'm going to do is put some vegan mayo on here, as you can see a little bit more snuck out than I wanted, I'd say just about a tablespoon. But I love the Simple Truth plant-based mayo because it's $2.99 at my store and I think it's so much better than all of the alternatives. I'm going to put some dill weed in there and I'm going to mix it together. Um, I used to get Hellman's vegan mayo, but it has like a distinct taste to it I do not like. And then I used to get just mayo, but they don't make that anymore for for our state I haven't seen it anywhere so I really like the simple truth vegan mayo when I'm not making my own on the starch 
storage solution. I think it's okay to have it every now and again, but this is like my go-to dinner lately. It's so simple and so easy. I take the whole food sourdough rosemary bread. I toast that and then I just top it with some of the Kite Hill plain cream cheese. Um, I like the plain because I can use it just for sweet and savory things throughout the week, but sometimes you will find me get the chive one. Um, and then on top of this, I'm actually going to put some sun-dried tomato basil olive oil. And I found that at Target. And um, I use the sun-dried tomatoes for like pizzas and things like that, pastas. Uh, but the oil itself has so much flavor. So I drizzle that on top of the toast and I am good to go. I'm going to enjoy this and then I'm going to get to work in my studio. From the thrift store um, you obviously saw oh <laughs> oh my goodness stay okay so you obviously saw what I had for dinner and then I'm just gonna show you a few things that I picked up my goal was to find some higher-end blanks and I'm sh I'm just floored we got some good ones so I got this one this tan little number has like a hem down the middle it's pretty long that will be a nice blank um i'm probably not gonna dye that one because i really like the color some i dye some i don't it really depends like i have this off the shoulder cashmere sweater and i don't want to print on it at all all i did was dip it in some of my black dye and the mx dyes with this um cashmere is just wow it's incredible um What's the next one? Oh, okay. It's just like a gray, gray long sleeve. And then it has some, what do you, how do you say that? Rouching, ruching, ruching? I don't know. It has some of those on the ends of it. And then I got another tan. I really love tan. I just, I, I don't know. I think it looks, <laughs> this is going to be fun, isn't it? Okay. Hopefully it will stay there. I didn't find a mic or a tripod, so we're going to have to just deal with this. Um, I found some tan. I think tan looks good on every skin color It was is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then over here, I have a hoodie, just gray. Heathered gray. Heathered gray, I'd say that. has some pockets to it. And I got this pretty light plum color. And this time I tried to get a variety of sizes. Generally I go for a large because I'm a large, but I'm like, I'm not shopping for, you're not shopping for you, Tori. So <laughs> um, I tried to get small, medium, and large, and extra large, and XXL. Um, I didn't get any extra small. I didn't see any. So um, that is it for the women's clothes. People, whoever wants to, uh, adult clothing, we shall say. And then... I found something really awesome. I found this Sherpa lined Wrangler denim jacket. It's a 3T. So I'm going to print on the back. I'm not sure what I'm going to print yet, but I'm really excited. I think it's so cute. So that was my goal to find some blanks and things like that. I'm going to get the studio organized. I'm probably going to end the vlog here. Just have a glass of wine and watch something with my husband we really um i really love the movie arrival so i'm gonna try and find that if you haven't seen arrival you, you need to see it it's deep and a little sad but um it's basically a space movie i'm not a space person at all when it comes to movies like i just it's not my thing but my husband convinced me to try this one and i'm i love it it's such a good like depiction of um life out there and in space so if you haven't seen it you have to but I'm gonna cozy up have a glass of wine get some things organized and get some things packed I have some orders and I'm just excited because it's like overwhelming um, but it's a good overwhelming like it's a good feeling so just really just happy I'm excited 
to see where things are going to bring me. I'm at peace with, um, you know, my decision to resign. It's a very tricky one, but I know the parents and um, families will understand. The students probably not. They're just too young, but I am. Um, I'm excited. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for sticking around for this long one. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I will see you next time. I forgot one thing. Um, we are almost up to 4K. I am so, so just floored. I am just so happy that we're there. I wanted to do a 4K Q&A. So if you have any questions for me, drop them down in the comments and I will be answering them. I'm going to have like a dedicated Q&A coffee chit chat with y'all and I think it'll be fun. Any questions, ask me anything. Honestly, I usually limit it, but ask me anything. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye everyone. Yeah.